Well, more COVID-19 vaccines are on the way. Today, we learned the Trump administration is set to buy 100 million more doses of Pfizer's COVID vaccine. The company will deliver at least 70 million doses by the end of June. The remaining doses will be delivered no later than July 31st. Including this latest deal, the federal government has now bought a total of 200 million doses of the Pfizer vaccine for $4 billion. New tonight, President Trump has vetoed the annual defense policy bill. He offered several reasons for the veto, including a demand for lawmakers to put limits on social media companies he claims are biased against him. President Trump also seems ready to veto the just approved COVID relief bill. We told you about this late last night. As Alice Barr explains, the president wants lawmakers to rework the bill and put more money in stimulus checks promised to many Americans. President Trump heading home for the holidays after punching holes through an urgently needed COVID relief bill that lawmakers thought was a done deal. It really is a disgrace. Overnight, the president posting to Twitter a White House produced video directing Congress to get rid of what he called the bill's wasteful spending and give more money in direct payments to Americans. And increase the ridiculously low $600 to $2,000 or $4,000 for a couple. Democrats had pushed for bigger checks, and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi wants to approve the increase by unanimous consent tomorrow, though the top Republican in the House would have to agree. President Trump was not directly involved in the months of relief deal negotiations, but his Treasury Secretary was, and the White House had said he would sign it, the video surprising many in his own staff. If the president vetoes the bill, Congress can override him, but time is running out, with federal unemployment benefits expiring Saturday for some 12 million Americans. While risking a delay in that critical aid, President Trump offered the gift of pardons and commutations to 20 people, including two men convicted in the Mueller Russia investigation. More pardons expected before the president leaves office. President-elect Joe Biden continuing to build out his cabinet, today introducing his pick for education secretary, Connecticut schools chief Dr. Miguel Cardona, while promising to safely reopen a majority of schools in his first 100 days in office. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. Well, today, Governor Holcomb signed an executive order renewing some directives to help in the state's coronavirus response. That order extends temporary licensing for health care workers not currently licensed in Indiana. It also gives certain paramedics, EMTs, and National Guard members permission to administer the COVID-19 vaccine. And it offers more help for those seeking unemployment, making it easier to hire temporary workers to help with claims. The governor's executive order comes just as thousands more Hoosiers test positive for the coronavirus. Today, the state health department announced over 4,700 new cases, bringing the state total to more than 476,000 since the beginning of this pandemic. 60 more, 62 more people have died. In total, 7,300 Hoosiers have now lost their life to COVID. Well, today, U.S. Surgeon General Jerome Adams paid a visit to Eskenazi Health. He spoke on the importance of getting the COVID-19 vaccine when you have the opportunity. The arrival of the vaccine has been welcomed by many, but some are still concerned about its safety. And Dr. Adams tried to calm those fears. These vaccines are 95% effective. The bar that we set was 50%. They're 95% effective. So you are truly, truly denying yourself an opportunity to give yourself almost 100% protection from this virus if you choose not to get vaccinated. And Dr. Adams also took part in two roundtable discussions as part of his visit. 